Well, good afternoon. I want to welcome everybody to the, uh, the east side of the City of Champions here at the Cosgrove Pool. I want to thank our dear Congressman Stephen Lynch. Thank you, Congressman, for what you do each and every day. We are uh, proudly joined by a variety of members of the Cosgrove family. We want to thank all of you for being here today. So I'm Robert Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton, and I am really uh, proud that we're here today for many reasons. Number one, the Lawrence Cosgrove, Larry Cosgrove Pool is dedicated and named fittingly and respectfully after Mr. Cosgrove, who was the first Brockton boy to give his life in World War II on the destroyer Reuben James in 1941 off of Iceland. So the Cosgrove family just shared with myself and Congressman Lynch their scrapbook of history. I want to thank you for sharing that. I was told that sometime uh, in the future, not too long from now, well, hopefully it's a long time from now, as Shirley said, uh, it would be donated to the Brockton Historical Society. But I'm here today to say thank you to Congressman Lynch, thank you to U.S. Senator Ed Markey and U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren. We were here, the weather wasn't 95 the day we were here. Uh, but take a step back in time. Um, I went down to Washington, D.C., as I always do, to see our, our great friend, Congressman Lynch, and he was Senator Markey, and I told them about the East Side Pool. And that chair over there, I lifeguarded that chair right there. When I was skinny and I could fit into a nice bathing suit, I sat in that chair in the summer of 87 and summer of 88. This is considered the beach for many people here in the city of Brockton, on the east side and beyond, specifically on Crescent Court over there. My great-great-grandfather came over from Ireland, Daniel Ridden. He lived right over on Otis Street. And we're joined here today by many Brocktonians, lifelong Brocktonians, once a Brocktonian, always a Brocktonian. Folks that may no longer live in the confines of the city of Brockton, but they consider Brockton home. So to get $3 million because of Congressman Lynch and his colleagues in the U.S. Senate, and another $3.5 million we're going to use from ARPA money to spend 6 .5, maybe even $7 million to repurpose, renovate, reimagine this is a game changer. So again, I want to thank the Congressman personally again. I also want to thank all our partners in, in government. We are a team, we collaborate, we all have a vision for a better Brockton. And it's all about building upon our successes. I want to thank uh, Judy Sullivan and Tim Sullivan from the school committee. I want to thank, yes. I want to thank Councilor Jack Lally and Councilor Jeff Thompson from the city council. I want to thank State Representative Michelle Dubois. I want to thank uh, the entire state delegation, the entire city council, the entire school committee. Uh, I also want to thank our dear friends from the county, Robert Creedon, former senator and clerk of courts in Plymouth County. I want to thank John Buckley, our Register of Deeds in Plymouth County. I want to thank Troy Claxon, uh, our, our CFO, when I, I told him we were going to utilize the ARPA money for generational purposes. He understood what I was saying. And congressmen and senator, they understood what I was saying. City council supported that. They understood because this is for the next generation of Brocktonians. We're here today for a groundbreaking, but it's going to be next summer when we hear and we see the kids, the boys and girls, jumping in this new pool and the splash park and the shade area. All that's going to culminate because of our friends in Washington, D.C., led by President Joseph Biden. So I want to thank all of our folks on the city side working from Tim Carpenter, our parks director, to our, our CFO, but also we hired an individual, and he was a former county commissioner, Dan Pallotta. Dan Pallotta is our opera manager. He has been working diligently, because I call him every day, on this project, on the Council on Aging Senior Mary Cruz Kennedy Senior Center, on the War Memorial, on City Hall. It's tangible money that we're using with the opera money for benefits for our community as a whole. I also have to take a moment and personally thank the designer, Gail Trachenberg from MMT. She has worked tirelessly on this project and also on the War Memorial. I want to thank you, Gail. I want to thank Mike Morris and his team in the procurement. You can't get anything done if you're a municipality without a procurement officer. Mike, you do an awesome job each and every day. I want to thank our DPW. I want to thank our building. But more importantly, I just want to thank all of you for being here today. And at this time, uh, the man who has done so much for the city of Brockton before I was mayor and during my administration, and I say this, and people say you say it a lot. Well, I say it because I mean it. 
We have the best U.S. congressman here representing Brockton, representing our Commonwealth. He happens to be from Southie. He could have grew up in Brockton, could have grew up right, at Cos right across the, from Cosgrove. Stephen Lynch is not just a great public servant, he's a great human being. Congressman. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first of all, to the Cosgrove family, I want to thank you so much for, for being here and, and uh, really giving meaning to what we're, we're doing here in, in, in rebuilding this pool in memory of Larry Cosgrove. Uh, sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget the real impact of losing someone in war, um, especially where such time has passed as, as has between now and, and the end of, of the Second World War. For the past uh, 25 years, uh, my mother-in-law has lived with my wife and I. Uh, she will tell you we lived with her, but, <laughs> but uh, she lost her brother Ronnie uh, in his first parachute jump over the Rhine uh, in May of, of, of 1945. And uh, never got over it. Never got over it. And, uh, you know, her two favorite days of the year were Veterans Day and Memorial Day because she said that whereas she remembered her brother Ronnie every single day on those days and days such as this when we set aside time to remember she felt that her city her neighborhood her state her country shared that burden of her loss so the loss of larry cosgrove in a very human way and 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 it's it's hard to imagine we lost 109 sons of, of the United States that day. We, we lost a dozen from Massachusetts, places like Revere and Somerville, of course, Brockton. But to think about the sacrifice that those young men made on behalf of our country and our democracy, I'm hopeful that it redoubles our commitment to that democracy and that cause for which they died. I wonder what they would think of where the country's at today in light of their service, in light of their sacrifice. And I hope it, I hope it reminds us to take what we do, especially in government, what we do, take it so seriously because of the sacrifice that has been rendered to make this all possible. None of this would, hap would have happened without the relentless work of, of Mayor Bob Sullivan. And he is relentless. He's, a, he's a, He's a good reflection of the city of Brockton, I would say. He's a fighter, and, and he's a champion of, of so many causes. But it was his diligence and his work, banging on the doors down in Congress, my door, uh, which is always open always, to the mayor, but, uh, but also with our two senators, uh, Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey. Uh, look, this is part of a team effort, and, and it was our city council and our, and, and our uh, all of our city councils and our state delegation, Mike Brady and, and uh, Michelle Dubois, uh, Jerry Cassidy, um, Rita Mendez. Who am I forgetting? Oh, you got them all. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, it was a collective effort. And, and I'm so, look, I'm blessed to have Brockton in my district. And I, I really do feel like Brockton's best days could be right in front of it. Uh, we've got great leadership here, great team. Uh, the resources are coming, thanks to, to the way they're doing the funding now in D.C. It has to come from the locality. So it's not just something I think about. It has to be a request from the city or from a nonprofit, like the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center or something like that. And the money goes to a project that would not have otherwise been funded. So uh, in fairness to all the previous mayors, you know, there was always other demands that, that were a, a greater priority than this pool. But it took this mayor, Bob Sullivan, to make sure that this project got done in this budget cycle. So I'm enormously grateful for your great work. And uh, I prefer the ribbon cuttings uh, to, to the groundbreakings, but it won't be long. It won't be long uh, when we will see 
the, the children of Brockton enjoying this. Maybe a few adults as well. Uh, you know, growing up in South Boston, in the housing projects, we were fortunate to have a beach across the street. And, uh, you know, from, from May to September, that's where my family, that's where we, myself and my five sisters, that's where we spent all our time. So I know the value that this facility can offer to, to, to the families, especially to the young people in this community. And um, I'm delighted, absolutely delighted, that we can not only pro provide that, that relief and that recreation opportunity for the children of Brockton, but also honor someone who made such a tremendous sacrifice uh, to this city, to this state, and to this country as, as Larry Cosgrove. So uh, thank you for allowing me to, to be part of this uh, celebration and, and announcement this morning. And uh, I look forward to the completion of this project. And, and I want to say that I am tremendously honored to represent the families of Brockton in the United States Congress each and every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Congressman, for what you do each and every day for our city, our Commonwealth, and our nation. At this time, it's, it's my honor to invite uh, Ward 5 City Councilor, Attorney Jeffrey Thompson. Uh, Councilor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Really appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, really an honor to be with you all today. It's a beautiful morning. Heat like this makes me wish this pool was already open. But uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, welcome uh, Congressman Lynch and the Cosgrove family uh, for this groundbreaking event. Um, today we honor a, uh, I'm a, a fellow Navy man, so today we, I uh, honor the, the sacrifice and the service of uh, Mr. Larry Cosgrove. I'd like to thank you, uh, Mr. Congress, uh, Congressman Lynch and, your, and the whole federal delegation for providing the funding uh, for the rehabilitation of the Cosgrove pool. I learned to swim here at Cosgrove and with this investment, countless of Brockton kids will have the opportunity to learn to swim, to enjoy a safe place, to cool off, to play, and to spend time with their families. This new Cosgrove pool will be an asset to the east side of Brockton. And I look forward to seeing you, Mr. Congressman, at the ribbon cutting. And I challenge you, Mr. Mayor, to be in a bathing suit uh, that day. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, as we celebrate uh, this, uh, you know, this wonderful pool which honors a true hero of Brockton. So thank you all for being here. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. I will take you up with that challenge, and I will challenge you to a 50 free. I was on the swim team at Brockton High. Okay, I'll dust it off, and we'll go. Uh, at this time, it's my honor to, uh, to ask Superintendent of Parks. Uh, he, he wears uh, two hats here in the city of Brockton. Tim Carpenter, he's uh, Superintendent of our Parks and Recreation and also Director of our Cemeteries. Mr. Carpenter, thank you for what you do. Please join us. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I will be quick because we kind of all want to get out of the sun here, I would imagine. Um, on behalf of the City of Brockton Park uh, Commission, I'd just like to say thank you, obviously, to the federal delegation, the state delegation, our local elected officials, um, school side and the city side. Um, this is going to be a tremendous project. Uh, it is going to really revamp this pool into a very family-friendly, um, fully accessible facility that will be state-of-the-art. It's an exciting project. Um, couldn't be done with, without the help of people uh, the mayor has already mentioned, Gail Trachtenberg and MMT, Mike Morris and procurement. Um, it is an exciting project that's going to really be uh, a benefit to the city. Uh, I look forward to its completion um, and I invite you all back here uh, sometime in June and we'll cut the ribbon and go for a swim. Thank you very much. I do so also want to recognize uh, Brockton Police Chief uh, Brenda Perez. Thank you for being here, Chief. You're back in the neighborhood. You grew up right around the corner on Stillman. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also uh, want to thank uh, our Parks Commissioners. Thank you for being here. Every, everybody uh, has to understand the Parks Commissioners uh, do yeoman's work for all our recreation throughout the city of Brockton. Uh, at this time, I'm going to ask uh, remarks from the Cosgrove family.
It's very nice to be here today. It's a privilege. I want to thank Mayor Sullivan, Counts, uh, Congressman Lynch, and all of the other political people and city people who have done their best to bring this to fruition. I know it's a lot of money. I know it's a lot of work for everybody, but it means a lot to our family. We grew up knowing Lawrence Randall Cosgrove as Uncle Lonnie. We grew up as knowing him. Not that he was someone gone, but he was always part of our families. Our family, my father Richard, my Aunt Grace and her children, and my Uncle Bob and his children. There, there are 11 of us cousins, and uh, I'm privileged to be the oldest, and we have a wonderful family, and I hope that more of them, or at least the same ones, can be here for the ribbon cutting. Thank you all again for everybody. Get out of the sun. So at this time, we, we will do the official groundbreaking. Uh, I'm going to ask, usually it's always the politicians. I want the Cosgrove family to be engaged yeah. with Congressman Lynch on this one. Oh. We'll, us elected folks will stand in the back, but the Cosgrove family and Congressman Lynch, please 